You know what I'm saying? Nothing that were, wasn't high art. You were, you there, were you there the night uh, Fat Joe got booed? Um, no, I wasn't there. I wasn't there. I think I was locked up at that time. I think uh, they, they, that was around 94. I was gone in like August of 93. Okay. You know what I mean? Right after our record release uh, got released. Um, but they was telling me when I was like, I was like, <laughs> I was like, I was like, I was like, okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, don't get me wrong. I liked a lot of New York. I mean, we was out there in New York. Like my um, our manager, Keetar Massenburg. We was out there in Brooklyn, you know what I'm saying, and and meeting all the the food that um, that we looked up to, you know, the D Nices and you know, hollering at D Nice and and uh, Biff Markey, you know what I'm saying, and and like Chub Rock, you know what I'm saying. Cats would be on the stoop up in Brooklyn, right? You know what I mean. My manager on the uh, uh, a brownstone, you know what I'm saying, right there uh, by Record Park, you know what I'm saying. So we were kind of like. Like, we were seeing our, the, the dudes we love, like, the big, you know what I'm saying? Like, oh, you know, I got to see them. I, you know, be able to meet them and, and, and holler at them. And, 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 and a lot of them, like, obviously knew who we were. So that was kind of dope, too. You know what I'm saying? Right. Going to, you know, run DMC, you know what I'm saying? Run is like, and, and they like, man, I love you guys. And, and like, saying the little raps that we, you know, I was like, man, you, don't tell me that, man. Right. Like, man, that's just crazy. I so... We were already, you know, we were, like I said, we was already like, you know, it's hip hop, so we know what was up, you know, right? And um, yeah, so you know, um, we, 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 if you wasn't true with the hip hop, we really wasn't really going to try to hear you, you know what I'm saying? Or right. or progressive, I say that, you know, progressive, you right. know, doing something that ain't, ain't never been done. Um, uh, did so, you guys uh, earlier on shop a demo uh, uh, with the labels, or how did you uh, get with Sun Music? Oh no, that was the homie. Sun Music was uh, was the homie's uh, label. Um, Jay Soonby, he he uh, he actually came um, with a um, kind of like an, um, a proposal to invest in ourselves, and and though we did, we invested. Um, and uh, tapes, and and and, uh, and see it and and vinyl, and we put it out, and uh, we were slanging them shits. Um, so yeah, and then when that when that happened, it was like that's when we got signed. Um, the A and R's was was obviously calling, you know, because we got product already, and we pushing it. Matter of fact, I think we were on our third, of, you know, second or third, kind of like you know, um, um. You know, like, well, I think, I don't know, I think it was like a thousand. We pressed up the first time of tapes, sold them out really quick. But they was our calling cards, and, and Cash was definitely playing it. So when when when, when the people was playing it, playing our, our joints, they was like, you know, we had a number on there. It was, it was traveling. People was getting our, <laughs> our tapes um, all over the world. So calling that was, the, calling uh, the that was to whom it may concern? To whom it may concern, yeah. That was our calling card. That, that what got us. That's what got us uh, signed. Okay. And that, that joint is banging right now. Matter of fact, we finna put out um, um, a remastered version of that on vinyl. Okay. So yeah. how did they get into the hands of 4th and Broadway? Um, a lady named Kim Bowie um, had one of the tapes. And um, I remember the, the, the day, we, I think we was at this club on um, Sunset. <clears throat> and she bought a tape. She called. She was obviously like super interested. Called us up to the office, um, uh, island, island office. They was right above a Lamborghini shop, um, stallion Lamborghini, right on Sunset, right across the street from uh, Whiskey. You know what I'm saying? We up in there lamping, and they was like super interested. Uh, we got lawyers, lawyered up, and um, we had a bidding war. Um, we had Jimmy Iovine, Interscope wanted and uh, wanted us, uh, MCA and Island. Uh, Obviously, um, you know, but I also think like, ooh, what if he would have went to Interscope? And right around that time, we, were, you know, the homies uh, corrupt and and Snoop and RBX was telling us like, yeah, y'all should come over to. Uh, uh, and Dre was like, yeah, oh uh, man, I'm starting this. You know, Dre was hitting us up like, um, like wanted to like mess with it because he heard about us and he he, he pfft, man he was he was in love with that seat that tape to a make concern. Um, 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 be advised will come every time I see him. Be advised will come. I was like, oh, damn, respects, respects. 
Uh, but yeah, they was trying to get us over there, but we was already signed. But uh, yeah, but that's and then but so Island Fourth and Broadway meant rock him. So I mean, shit, that's what we signed it to. <laughs> like that, Jimmy. I mean, I don't know what they what they talking about. Doctor, you think Doctor Dre? You like what? He 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 producing again? NWA? Well, oh, oh, all right, for sure. So right. we was going for tried and true hip hop, you know, Fourth and Broadway, you know. Right. Uh, what was the game plan going into uh, inner city riots, and uh, what were those uh, creative? Uh, uh, what was the creative process going into that? Of what? I'm sorry. Inner city riots. What uh, was the creative process? Because there was like a two year gap between uh, to whom may it concern and uh, inner city riots. So in between that time, uh, what was the uh, creative process uh, and thought process going into this uh, that project? Um, let's see. I mean, it was just basically a better sound into make it sound um, with with um, instrumentals with with instruments. You know what I mean? Um, yeah, I, I, it was. We had more room. We could breathe. You know, we wasn't in an apartment like that no more. You know, we on that knee board. Uh, uh, and yeah, flying faders. So, I mean, we it was it offered. You know. Um, a little bit more room to 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 be creative, I guess, and um, um, yeah, and and and, and the music, the music, um, um, a little bit more, um, I guess, industrial, right? <laughs> like, oh man, um, the uh, what was play it cool, you know what I'm saying? Uh, boundaries, yeah, we was in our bag, uh, the jazz thing. Um, the jazz element, uh, very heavy. And um, uh, shout out to Randall Willis um, for the for the boundaries. And then, um, yeah, uh, yes, and JMD, they he they pretty much laced the, the, the whole sound of the of the um, inner city grass. And obviously, you know, the, the riots was happening then. It, it just focused it, it whatever it started out was it was it ended out being a little bit different than what we started so what happened before that the, what happened when we started in between that was the riots I so you. you know what i mean so if we started some way we you know the hot potatoes i don't know if that was first or second or um or any of the one the p kind of playful thing but it did get a point of, of seriousness um and a little artsy too but uh yeah, it was it was definitely what was happening then. Um, you guys, you guys dropped uh, "Bullies on the Block uh, of the Block" as your first single. What kind of response did you get when that dropped? Um, a good a good response. I mean, I, I, we were all we all had different kind of um, um songs. We 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 was thinking that that probably should have been our our first single. Um, and looking. You know, looking back, it probably should have been something like Boundaries <laughs> or something a little bit more, I don't know, uh, like cohesive, I guess. Because we everywhere, but we, we come right back to, to it, you know what I mean? Right. Um, you know, like a boomerang. But, um, but yeah, but so uh, I say, I say, um, uh, Kedar, I guess, probably would have had more input or, yeah, I think you guys should come hard. You know, yes, to put, yes, go hard. Like, you know what I'm saying? I'm, you know, I'm like, okay, for sure. And we don't have a problem with it. You know what I'm saying? Shoot, whatever. You know, but like I said, we was a little bit naive some at, at some points. Uh, of, of, you know, we listened to the experts, you know what I'm saying? You guys are obviously the experts and you know what, you know, know what you're doing. So if you think we need this, you know what I mean? We, we want to step on next, but we don't have to. We, we do it all. And I think they kind of dropped the ball a lot of times, you know, even just with, um, with, um, you know, with, with, with just putting it out there, you know what I'm saying? And, um, and they didn't know how to, I did They didn't know how to kind of digest us or what, what to, I guess what to kind of like make everybody see that, that, that we do something and, but we do it all. So, you know what I'm saying? It's right. you know, almost like a, a dude that, um, 
Uh, the, you know, you always see the dudes that dribble and do all the little, you know, I mean, the hand ones. They do it all, but, you know, can they, <laughs> you know, can they can they act accordingly with everything and, and, and the team, you know what I mean? Right. Um, but maybe that's a bad analogy, but... <laughs> <laughs> but you know what I'm saying. Yeah. So, but I, like I say, it wasn't it wasn't too much of um, it, 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 I, you know, and you look at it right now. If you look at it how how it is now, and say like, um, the fact that we did put music out, put the uh, bounties, uh, uh, bullies out first, it kind of solidified us as being, you know, what I mean, the underground dudes. You know what I'm saying? Because that kind of created the underground kind of sort of scene. You right. know what I'm saying? And and I mean. You can look at it like, oh, y'all would have blew up if y'all would have put it, bro, you know, about y'all the F. Because at the time, I think, who would have had the little jazz uh, song that was out? It wasn't. It was Diggable Sam Planets? Was, Diggable, yeah, Diggable Planets. And um, and obviously Guru and Premiere, you know what I'm saying? A lot of, a lot of jazz elements or whatever there, but sample, you know what I'm saying? But but it was still, you know, the horns or whatever. No one knew, knew if it was sampled or whatever or, or live. Right. But it was just that's what's that was was happening then. You know, not the give me all you got. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> so yeah, but you know, hey, I kinda like I kinda liked it that they put out bullies. Like right. <laughs> you guys went on to uh release inner city boundaries and hot potato. Uh personally, uh your videos getting played all over MTV BT. How is life changing for self Jupiter at this point? Um, changing, I'm, well, hey, I get so many, you get, well, so, okay, listen, I got me, I got a distribution label, and, uh, I got some hungry MC cats and, uh, uh artists, like, that really wants my, um, uh, expertise, my input on their, pro on their, uh, pro uh, projects, and, um, and I, I, I get a chance to, you know, kind of like listening to how they do things, you know what I'm saying? And, and um, I end up, um, you know, putting their, 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 their projects out. Um, the order label, um, we, we have some, we have some, some dope artists on the, on the label. Um, uh, it's in accordance with uh, Alpha Pub Records, uh, Daddy Kev, and, uh, and yeah, we, um, so, now I'm I'm doing a little bit of everything. Like I say, obviously I'm doing A A A and R, but um I put out I put out some joints every now. I just put out a a, a record. Uh, what was it? Oh, was it two years now? I got another one right now about to come out. Right. Um, but well, like well, I said, I got a, huh? Personally, I'm just saying back to that time, like your videos all over the place. How is life changing for you? Uh, being so young, it's 1993. Uh, is anything changing for you personally? Uh, when these videos are all over uh, in, in constant rotation? What videos? Uh, Hot Potato, uh, uh, Inner City Boundaries, uh, uh, the uh, Bullies Joint. Oh, I'm not knowing. Are they out they playing it still? I'm not no, knowing. I'm, I'm saying back then. Oh, how did life change man. for you back then? Well, it it didn't change too much. It, I mean, we, we were... Um, we were young. We we still had to kind of like prove we, we still was individuals and we were solo artists. Don't get that twisted. Um when the when the 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 fellowship didn't work work out, Cash was like, nigga, shit, that's gonna give me action at doing my own. That's what they really that's what all of us really wanted. You know what I mean? We was just it wasn't that we were just a group and one of one guy had a group and you know what I'm saying? Everybody kind of that was they felt more like, yeah, this is me and I wanna put me out. I'm more concerned with me because I can control me, you know what I'm saying, as opposed to everybody else. So everybody's like, yeah, I'm going to get my own solo thing out, you know what I'm saying? So you're more tripping off the solo thing more than the, the group. So but, earlier, but the, earlier, huh? on, it, earlier on, did you guys have discussions about solo projects before the group? No. Okay. They was all, like everybody always uh, in their mind, like, and just to put it in perspective, like, we had to pry people's hand. Like if we hear something that Mike was doing or AC was doing, we just, we'll just be something like, man, that could be dope for the group. <laughs> 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 and then, you know what I'm saying? And, and, uh, and Kat, ugh, I don't know, man, I, I want to let y'all in, but nah, I think I want to say this. I think I want to say this, or definitely AC might have some. He, he might make the mistake of, 
giving me a little bar or something that you finna save save up to to put out. I mean, ooh, that'd be nice for the for the ship, man. You you wanna? Mm -mm. Nah, this is this for my solo, and that's like I said, everybody in mind kind of had that first, right? But but it was like a dude like me trying to like, hey, oh, I got something for that. You want you want you want you want to do? Oh, hear, hear me out. You know what I'm saying? That goes right what you were just saying. You know what I'm saying? Uh, right. And and then it, you know uh, you got to grab it. You got to snatch stuff out of people's uh, uh, <laughs> notebook. <laughs> Literally, no, we let's get that. Right. You know? But yeah, so I, you know, um, we didn't really see it. Wasn't too much. Um, uh, kind of like it wasn't it, just the real MCs. It was. It was kind of like for the real MC. That's what it really was. Uh, really about. I'm gonna be honest. We just really kind of wanted to to if if Cash was listening, we wanted the people we 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 was listening to listen to us. You know what I'm saying? We wasn't caring about nothing other than that. I wanted Rock Kim to look at me in my eyes and say like, yeah, y'all, yeah, I'm I'm you guys are nuts. You know what I'm saying? I fuck with that heavy. You know what I mean? Right. Because we wanted them to listen and respect what we was doing too. You know what I'm saying? Right. And that's all we really cared about. You know what I'm saying? So, um. You know, so you know, it, it it was cool to, you know, what I'm saying you have fans, you know, obviously whatever to, to um, you know, make those songs. But that was that was the start of hip hop. But as far as writing and killing it, and right. knowing that ain't nobody else on this planet like you, and if they are, are they listening? And if they listening, then you know what's up. Then, then right. then you bring out something and show me what you're doing. You know what I'm saying? Because we listening. Right. You know what I'm saying? So that's what it was about. Um, uh, last yeah. question about that album. Uh, you had the chance to work with the late great Ganja K on Heavyweights. Can you take us back yes, to sir. that? Um, can you take us back to that recording session for that song, Heavyweights? Man, I remember it like it was yesterday. Um, we were at this uh, studio. Um, oh, it, it didn't. Uh, it, it, was it Crystal? Crystal? It was off on Sunset. Um, I remember the engineer Matt Hyde was doing a lot of uh, um, um, pyro, porno for pyro uh, music, uh, engineer for a lot of rock stars, rock rock groups. Um, yeah, we we had a session, a night session, and um, but it was some because um, you know obviously the homie uh, Bombay had passed away, and I don't think he ever um, he wasn't writing or something, but we asked him to get on the get on the song um heavyweights and um i think that kind of brought him back a little bit like you know and of course he killed it um yeah he uh he uh that was a that was a that was a yeah I mean, that 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 actually uh song uh heavyweights uh we got i uh, got volume 10 on it and um and uh spoon all the homies you know at the home girl on them medusa um yeah, it was it was a good time man. But uh man, I miss my boy Ganja K. Man, rest in peace. No doubt, no doubt. Uh after that album does its thing, uh you say you uh had to go away for a while. How long did that uh happen before you come out and reunite with the it fellas? It was an hour. It was an hour. Oh, an hour. <laughs> <laughs> That's what my homie said, uh, you know, this lifetime, you know, you think about um we might, you know, when people pass away, you know, you, you know, you lie from 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 a kid to to you grow up or whatever. It's just an hour, <laughs> right? No really, doubt. Really, really, that's what you learned, I guess, uh, out of that uh, experience. You know what I mean? Right. Uh, you say you got out and things were just right back as you remembered them. You guys reunited on Temptations. Uh, what do you yeah. remember most? What do you remember most about that project in two thousand one? Do you remember that project? <laughs> I don't really. I'm going to be okay. honest. Yeah. Okay. Cool. Yeah. Um, well, damn. We, uh, Temptations was uh, right after, uh, yeah, um, Touchdown, if I'm not mistaken. No, no, that wasn't. Uh, Temptation was in 2000. Well, actually, 2001. Um, I know that because um, um, because the, the song, uh, 90, we had 98 sessions. And the 98 sessions was uh, Shaka Doom. And Shaka Doom was lit right after I got out. So I was working with uh, Omid, uh, uh, and nobody pushed up on me. 
um, and and uh, gave us some beats. And I think they were uh, doing a thesis um, at, at one of the colleges they was doing thesis on. I think it was uh, uh, sound, but we got we got action at the studio. So we just kind of just uh, we just did knocked out like uh, I don't know seven eight songs and put them put it out. Um, yeah, called Shaka Doom, and uh, that that I I love Shaka Doom. I love that album, uh, that EP. Um, we uh, we uh, got back together uh, two thousand. We had got a studio in the Merc, and we was just knocking out songs. Actually, I put my solo album, album out, Hard Hat Area. That was um, two thousand, right? That was two thousand, two thousand one. Yep. Yeah. Um, and a uh, uh, piece that was in a terrible accident and um, I lost his girlfriend in an accident. Mm. And so to that album right there was, he, he, I think he did maybe one or two um, verses or whatever. So, um, so yeah. So the Temptations was on that, the, on that song, on that album. And um, shout out to Mir for the artwork. Um, yeah. So, like every period of time, I mean, I I, I go, all, I remember it like it was like I say, I was, was on was only jail for an hour because I remember everybody's uh, uh, verses. I remember every I, but mine. <laughs> 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 no, nah, but yeah, so yeah, temptations. Um, and um, uh, the numbers. I mean, yeah. Oh, Joseph Lineberg did a lot of those uh those uh joints on uh, on uh, temptation album. Uh, you know, uh, Joseph, um, oh my God, he's super talented. Uh, Joseph Lineberg. Shout out to Joseph. Peace out. No doubt. Yes, sir. So take us back to Hard Hat Era. Uh, I'm sorry, Hard Hat Area. At what point yeah. did you decide to uh, take this solo route? What happened? Uh, at what point did you know it was time for Self Jupiter to release a solo project? Good question. Um, so, you know, I used to always be good at, at a, you know, for, uh, courses and, um, you know, I never really could literally finish a song. Um, that was just the thing I had to hurdle to get over it. Like I had, I had verses for, 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 for forever, but to really have, you know what I'm saying? Um, four verses hook, you know what I'm saying? I was always good at hooks, but I was also good at making the homies get on my shit. You know what I'm saying? That's really what the fellowship really was about. Like, I used to always come with hooks. If it was like, we obviously deserve a standing go vet, that was a, a hook of mine. You know what I'm saying? I just had the greatest home, <laughs> the greatest rappers in the world to get on it. You know what I'm saying? Because they all had something, um, something that, 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 you know, could go with it. You know what I'm saying? If they, you know, look, Looking in, in the or I might hear something that I'm like, man, I remember that's that verse you had now. Oh, and they'll know it and then we'll just click it and just you know lay it. Right. But um so but you know, you can't call the homies to your to your own shit, so you just gotta focus. And I got, you know, better at um at doing songs and um at, or doing it my way. You know what I mean? Not no super song structure, but just doing it my way. And uh and yeah. And then um so yeah, I started the and I'm not I'm not finished. It's starting to get a little bit uh, different. I, I grow as 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 the time you know, as the time changes, I change with it. Right. You know? uh, but I'm always progressive. You guys uh, reunited 2011 for the promise. Uh, at what point uh, did you guys decide to uh, go back in and, and record again? Oh, uh, the promise. I, again, like <laughs> the second time. I'm just a fucking jailbird. Man. <laughs> but you know, I that's all in the past. I ain't been in jail in fifteen years, so that's I've been up. I've been I've been out <laughs> longer than I've been in, so but uh put it in perspective. But yeah, I was uh uh you know, once you go in it's like easy it's easier for you to go back. So, you know, that's just that's the science of it all. But um but they ain't they ain't got nothing on me. I'm gone. You know, be some out of here. But um yeah, uh, what was your question again? I'm sorry. Uh, just the uh, conversation of going into 2011 is the promise. Oh, the promise. Yeah, so that's what I was kind of getting to. So when I got out of jail the second time, the, um, that's when Cash was like, yeah, man, uh, 
you guys should uh, do another album, man. And um, you got you, man, and um, y'all back, you know. And we uh, talked about it. Uh, we were discussing how um, kind of like uh, like what's the direction of everything, and um, we um, yeah, we put out uh, the promise. We had uh, I think Decon was working with AC um, had uh, a distribution label that was. Uh, and that was interested in, and, and we signed with uh, Decon Media. Um, um, yeah, and they were, um, they were, um, yeah, we did a couple of videos um, and everything. But um, I, yeah, I don't know. I, I that album is cool. And and here's the thing: we when we um, performing on shows is like. Cats got everybody got their favorites, you know. Fans, I mean, you know, when you put out so much music and and solo stuff with your group stuff, it's like, man, why y'all didn't do this, y'all? Right. Man, y'all, you know, y'all did break down, y'all did the thing, man. Come on, but our shows are so dope, you know what I mean? Uh, for that element right there, because you know, if you're a fellowship fan, you got to follow all the all our solo joints too, and it just be too much for them, like. You know what I'm saying? We just do the main ones and we'll do some little um, um, off our solo joints that cat, you know, people know. And if they right. didn't know, they'll like it too. And we got merch too. So if you don't have that album, we brought it with us. <laughs> you know right. what I'm saying? So, uh, yeah. And, and that's that's what it's about. You know, if you ain't, uh, somebody's always putting you up on new shit. If you ain't heard it, check this out. You know what I'm saying? And, and, and move accordingly. Right. Let's check out your uh, solo discography, if we can. Uh, the Cleaners, 2012. What was that all about? Um, me and my boy, Kenny Siegel. Shout out to Kenny. Um, we were... Um, uh, I've been wanting to work with Kenny for a while. Uh, 2010, I think we we um, started collaborating on the first Cleaners. We got two Cleaners out from... Uh, we actually were on third um, right now, too. So um, we were just... We just on some cleanup, um, kind of uh, reminiscing it to um, uh, the idea of, of a bloody, bloody scene and somebody got to clean it up. And we the cleaners to come and mop up, you know what I mean, the hip-hop. Come and mop up hip-hop with all the slop, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> <No doubt. laughs> There's a lot of messiness out here, so we just trying to clean I it like. up and make yeah. sense. It makes sense of all this this madness, you know what I mean? And we, we, do, we do a great job. If you uh, haven't heard it yet, cleaners is... It's definitely, um, I, um, and it's funny because m people that, that, that mess with cleaners or know about cleaners don't even know about fellowship. Mm. You know what I'm saying? So it's kind of like a, you know, younger, younger cats or whatever. Uh, LA beat scene was kind of, you know, cracking at that time, 2010. Um, so, um, you know, the instrumental beats or whatever. So cats was kind of on me, um, performing at places like low end theory and stuff like that, um, in LA. Um, so, you know, yeah, so right. Cleaners, is, uh, Cleaners is definitely uh, one of my favorite. Uh, uh, that's also my group as well with Kenny Siegel and Burgundy Fats. Um, Burgundy Fats. Yeah. Right. Yeah. One of my band. Marriott so, of yeah. Thoughts, 2013. Yes, sir. Yeah. All right. Uh, what about uh, season two, 2016? Cleaners season two. Yep. Yeah. Um, matter of fact, I was just in Chattanooga. <laughs> My cousin was like, "Man, I, I play this song all the time." He was talking about the song I called Langoliers, Langoliers" uh, from the Stephen King's uh, novel, and he was like, "Dude, you went in." This is my cousin in Chattanooga. He was like, "Dude, you went in on that song." I play that song like back to back to back to back, and he just playing. I'm like, I was feeling kind of weird, man. You want to? <laughs> You want to, you know, play something else? <laughs> like a family function and you playing Langoliers loud. Right. You know, one time might be cool, you know what I'm saying? But like three or four, it gets weird, you know? Right. I love you too, dog. <laughs> Take us back to Sexy Beast 2019. Uh, Sexy Beast was, um, I, I, I wanted to do something. Um, I was like, yeah, something that wasn't cleaners, something that wasn't fellowship. Um, but I'll do so. I wanted to incorporate a little bit of burgundy fats and, um, and kind of get some women listeners. You know what I mean? It's cool to have a few, you know, guys, you know what I'm saying? But not 80, you know, 
let's get that percentage, <laughs> that percentage thing going on. You know, I like to have some women, in, uh, you know, uh, checking me out too. Uh, right. So, with that, with that said, I uh, definitely wanted to um, invite more listeners, um, female listeners. You know, what I'm saying than I had, than I had, right. and it worked, and it worked absolutely like like a like a plan. Um, yeah. Um, so. So, um, so yeah, so, <laughs> so, you know, uh, I, I got the idea. It was a movie. So I'm really into movies and novels. So Sexy Beast is a movie that that's one of my favorite movies. So, um, if you've seen it, you kind of, um, you know, kind of, oh, okay, I got it. Right. You know, but yeah, Sexy Beast. So yeah, it was fun. I, I actually, I really do like that album. Um, I, I like, I like to perform it more. Like I say, when I started doing the COVID kind of happened. Um, so, and a couple of cats even out here wanted to, um, kind of do a, a video for one of the songs that I put out in Sexy Beast. I'm thinking like, I don't know, man, that's kind of old, dog. You know what I'm saying? No, no, I mean, you can still do a video, dog. Don't get into that trap. You know what I'm saying? Right. I was like, I'll, I'll fuck with you. <laughs> only, only if it's dope. Right. So Word. catch us up on Self Jupiter. What are you currently working on and what can we look forward to in the future? Well, uh, you can look forward to another Cleaners album with me and Kenny Siegel. Um, should be throwing a, a single out at some point this summer. Um, I do, um, and I kind of wanted to kind of do some, um, a little bit of um, polyrhythms. I don't know. Maybe, some, you know, rhythms in, in six, six, a. I I mean, you know, different, different um, variations of, of rhythm. You know what I'm saying? With, um, with kind of like a, uh, uh, just a drummer and a and a bass guy, mm. you know what I'm saying? Keyboard is or something like that. But yeah, something don't know along those lines. Um, but yeah, I I've been like, I get on beat, so I got a couple of joints I could just put out, um, just random. So check check for me though, check for me. Maybe you uh, I'm gonna check for you, man, because that's a lot I don't know about you. I mean, I see, I see your joints, but I'm gonna have to do my homework though, because right. you like a certain thing too. So I'm gonna do my homework next time. <laughs> Add me up again when I when I bring when I when I drop something. You know what absolutely, I'm saying? Absolutely, absolutely. All right, we'll do it like that. It, sure. We'll we'll spar back and forth. Exactly. Okay, for sure. No doubt. Uh, no doubt. For longtime fans uh, wanting to know the status of Freestyle Fellowship, can you give us an update on that? Oh man, we still friends, man, and um, I think it's just um, it's just like um, I, you know, you kind of don't want to be business and all that, and thing. kind of want to be friends again, kind of, you know what I mean? Uh, as opposed to just like you know, like yeah, no, we gotta do a record or something like that. So we'll see, um, because like I say, you um, um, friends go separate ways after a while, and, and you can you can kind of look at that through through past you know time and too many groups that still hang together you know what i'm saying <laughs> right or do the same thing they did you know before if if they are then you know kudos to them but uh yeah so but you know you, you have to kind of reestablish uh friendship and 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 go go at, go go after that that's secondary doing the music you know what i'm saying right uh outside yeah. of music is uh self jupiter uh pursuing any other avenues um well you know of course you know i dibble a little somewhere with acting so i'm in atlanta now so i'm man i'm on i'm on sag i'm in sag so hot you know the homegirl ava duvernay I'm, I'm trying to see if i can get on some get on some she she doing you know what i mean right. and, and, and you know i can't let common just take all the bag you know <laughs> take it <laughs> <laughs> like all the, some of these rappers, you know, turned actors, man. I, I watch them. I'm like, man, I could do that too. You know, exactly. I'm I, 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 I can see it. you in the next John Wick. <laughs> oh, the John Wick. Yeah, I can beat somebody up. <laughs> you know I mean? And I can be beaten up. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> For a bad <laughs> yeah. right here. You know what I'm saying? Knock right. a tooth, a fake tooth. Yeah. <laughs> no <laughs> doubt. Hey, Self Jupiter, I appreciate the opportunity. Before we get out of here, can you tell the people where they can keep up with you at on social media? Get at me on Instagram, on IG, at Self Jupiter. Get at me on Jupacabra on Twitter. Um, you can get on my Facebook, Self Jupiter. Um, 
Yeah, uh, South Jupiter and Jupiter Comedy, you can say Freestyle Fellowship on IG, um, on Twitter, Freestyle FS on Twitter. Yeah, holler at us. No doubt. We you've been in, you've been in the game well over thirty years. Any uh, last words for your uh, supporters who've been rocking with you for all this time? Man, thank you. I love you guys, man. Y'all know I'm coming with something crazy. You know me. I can't let you down. But uh, you know, I'm trying to find that 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 really that middle ground of kind of get more people involved. It won't never be corny, and it'll be right down the pocket. And it might surprise you. You know what I mean? Yeah. <laughs> Thank you so much, okay. Self Jupiter, for everything you've done for the culture. Let's keep in touch. And Peace and blessings, next, my brother. No, no doubt. The next time uh, you can go ahead and spar back and forth with me. Uh, do, <laughs> do, do your research. Yes, sir. Thank you, man. Appreciate it. No you. doubt. Appreciate you. All See right. you again soon. Peace and blessings. Salute.